Especially during this Valentine's week. This is a very special week. You know, you, we don't make such a big deal. It's not a holiday or anything like that, which I think it should be. You know, in Russia, remember Cheryl? There was a day when it was like, what do they call it? Yeah. Ladies' Day or something like this Women's where they tell their day. husbands they love them. It's, it's a, actually, it's a day of celebrating, celebrating love. Women's Day. Okay. It was Women's Day. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, uh, and we need to put more focus on the love for one another. Mm -hmm. But the love that comes from God yes. through us to one another. Yes. I love you, Cheryl. I love you, dear. I love you, Cheryl. I love you so I love much. you guys out there. You I know, there are too. different kinds of love. You yes. know, my, our, Cheryl and I, our love is like so deep. And, and of course, God's love is just absolutely enormous. We don't even understand. And our love for you is so right there, right on. Because you've been so loving to us. You have sent your love so much. Thank you very much. And I would I hope by now you've received your Valentine special. I would tell you, hundreds. It's been amazing. The, the response. My, my bakers have been working around the clock to get these cakes ready for you. I need to give them a little bonus, I think. What do you I think, Cheryl? I think that's correct. Don't you think we should? Yeah. <laughs> I do. They work yes. so hard in packaging. Oh, and my goodness. Hopefully yes. you like the, the, the beautiful packaging that we did. Of course, Cheryl and I are very much involved in that, too. Because we want to present, you know, I've always felt as Christians, we should be first class in everything oh, we do. Oh, why yes. not? Yes. In, in, in music and in singing, and that's why I say sharpen the ability that God has given you. Let's be the very best that we can. Strive for, per for perfection. You know, God is perfect. Jesus is perfect. But we could strive, to, you know, as, as a matter of fact, the word says that we should be as perfect as he but I believe that we, we're, we're, we're not absolutely perfect, perfect. No one's perfect on this planet Earth. No. But we can strive for perfection. Yes, not until we get to heaven that it'll be perfect. Everything will be perfect. Amen. Oh, that will be beautiful. People say, well, Dino, you wear these rings with diamonds. Well, can I tell you something? What is heaven going to be like? Oh, oh, my gosh, this is nothing compared to what heaven has prepared for us. So ladies, yeah, wear that jewelry. Guys, come on. <laughs> Let's enjoy it right here. Because this is just the taste of what it's going to be like when we get to heaven. Amen. My piano is going to be, well, I don't think it's going to be black. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't think it's going to be black. This is a beautiful Yamaha piano. But black is beautiful too. But in heaven, I believe I'm going to have not an Austrian crystal piano. I'm going to have the real thing, diamonds. Yes. So you better come over to our mansion and visit us this is gonna be great I'll, and i'll play for you the songs that you that will it'll be all new songs uh, the, the word of god says we're gonna sing all new songs when we get to heaven and angels will be singing you know it's very interesting cheryl uh I, I want someone to check my theology on this but i don't believe the word says anything about, about the angels singing right now in the word of god but they will sing when we get to heaven Guys, check me out on that. If you find a verse where it says that the angels right now are singing and so on, well, we can we can kind of pretend like they're, the angels are singing, but when we get to heaven, they're going to sing the new song. Check me out on that. I, I, because if I'm incorrect, I want to know. Please. Right now, about your piano. Yes. Uh, Joanne says, your piano in heaven will be gold. And Kevin says, I think your piano will be pure diamonds. Praise God. 
So pure gold. And I'll play perfect. Encrusted. No mistakes. Like you hear me every <laughs> week playing. <laughs> oh. But you know, the mistakes come because I, I'm digging way back, you know, playing these Absolutely. hymns that I haven't played for years. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Just so the message is there and you know what I'm playing, what the theme is. Well, again, I hope your cakes are delicious. For some of you are putting in the freezer for Valentine's Day, and that's good. That's good. A lot of you have been eating them already. You <laughs> ate them already. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm glad you received them. And the CD, some of you got DVDs. The CD, When I Fall in Love, which uh, has been re very popular during this time of the year. Mm -hmm. And what a joy it is for us to give to you. And people, did you know, Cheryl, that someone texted, several people said, do you know the postage that you had to pay for my for my cakes? They said, because we fed them fed, FedEx by air. Yeah. And you guys know what it cost for FedEx. Some, we paid $60 for postage. Some we paid 50, 40. And the special was 49.50, 49.95. Well, let me tell you something. That's our gift to you. That's our gift to you. And we wanted you so much to taste our cakes because I think you're gonna get hooked on these cakes. You get a lot more. But we, from the bottom of our heart, we wanted you to have these cakes and CDs for sure. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you something. I brought the birthday cake. So you've been asking, well, Dino, talk to us about the birthday cake. How can I get a birthday cake on my birthday? Well, I brought the cake here. It's a six inch cake. Cheryl, can they see it? They can see it. By the it. way, this is your rose. Okay. Valentine's Day, I believe, right there. But I thought it looked pretty nice. Cheryl thought it looked pretty with the cake. Well, I just love that rose. I think it's beautiful. But the cake is right here. It's a, it says, happy birthday. And when you order it, you, we're going to put your name on there. And you'll receive a cake just like this. It's kind of festive, you know. Did the lights go out on us, Cheryl? I, I did that on purpose is so they can see the cake. Can you lift it up a little? Oh, yeah. Can they see it now? Yes. Do you guys see it? Pretty oh, cake. Beautiful. And so let me tell you what kind birthday. of cake it is. It's a, it's a wedding cake. It's a white cake inside. Mm -hmm. And what I brought was raspberry preserves. Yes. Now, I want, I want a vote out here from all my family, Facebook family. Would you like the raspberry inside the cake? Or would you like to just have raspberry on the side? Or some of you may not want raspberry. I don't know. But this is like, if we if we put the raspberry in, this is like the real deal. Preserves. I mean, yes. absolutely perfect. It's beautiful. And we can put it in between the cake. So there's, there's not going to be an option, but I just want, I want to hear what you think. But I'm going to cut in this cake right now. I'm going to show you. And look at the plaque on there. It says, happy birthday. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it is. I think Teresa did a beautiful job, our baker. She did. Now, I'm going to cut this. I want to show you the inside. This is a very popular cake. Are we having fun with these cakes? Who would have thought I'd, I'd be telling you about cakes and you'd be ordering them? But look, I'm going to cut this cake right here. I want you to see the inside. And I'm going to put it on a cake plate, Cheryl, like this. Okay. I feel like a Greek chef here. Well, while you're cutting, uh, Margot says this is gorgeous. And Kevin Sandlin said... Raspberry or strawberry on the inside. Or strawberry. Uh -huh. Well, I happen to like raspberry. I, I didn't bring a fork. How come? But let me okay. show you. I'm gonna. It's, Would you it, like me to get a fork? No, I'll use this. We're at home. It's a moist cake. I want you to see this. Can I? Do you mind if I just taste to be sure? Yeah. Hmm. You are so beautiful <laughs> to me. And then, oh. if you put raspberry in the middle which would be like that, if you vote it for it, I will serve it to you with raspberry. And let me try it with a... Jean says while you're eating that, raspberry and custard would right. taste mm -hmm. wonderful. So we have all kinds of... Uh, See, I live with the raspberry. ...suggestions. Oh, yes. People sure, how do you like it? I like it with oh, raspberry. Do you, mind, do you mind just talk? Just, Cheryl, <laughs> talk tell me about ourselves. who's on there. Oh, look, look, look. Um, Look how moist it is, Cheryl. Oh, my goodness. Just have a piece. lay it right there. <laughs> we are family. Yes. This is our wedding cake that is absolutely delicious. So we want to, Terry said, speak up on this because, mm. oh, you're tempting us all. That's what they're saying. Look at that, Cheryl. I'm with you, Guys, Rosa. look. 
It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Turn it a little bit more toward see, me, please. But see, I happen to like the raspberry with it. Oh, it's so good. Because I love raspberry. But you didn't give me now, any of that. Little, you Put a little raspberry sure, there in, your hand? in the hand. That's not very ladylike, is it? Oh, I don't think Does it is. Everybody's saying how beautiful you are. I don't think it's very ladylike, but it surely is delicious. Did you try it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me. Mm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a birthday cake. It's a beautiful cake. It'll, it would have your name on it, and all you got to do, as a matter of fact, it's not even on our it's not even on our website yet. We're gonna put it on tomorrow, so you could order it. I don't even know the price. This time we we gotta cover postage, folks. I've got to do that. Okay, people so, are asking, can you talk louder? But I just turned this. Can up you not more. hear me, everybody there? Lemon curd would be wonderful inside as well. That's true. Is what Diane Savage. But said. Uh, we gotta select one kind of cake, and everybody's gonna get the same cake. The plain may be may be safe because some people may not like the raspberry. It's great. And too. if you want, you can add the wrap. Look, I got all over my pants and it's Cheryl, bring me a bring cloth, a wet cloth or something. Okay, I can do oh, that. thank you. Do you mind taking another another bite? I wish I could serve this to you. I love serving. Look, look at the cream. It's a white cream on top, and the, I happen to like the raspberry with it. They can tell. Oh. <laughs> Stop eating now. <laughs> so. You tell me what you like the best, with raspberry or without it, raspberry. Then we're going to stick to one cake so we can make hundreds of them, and it'll be ready for your birthday with your name on it. Mm -hmm. Invite your sweet little friend to come over, or boyfriend. I don't know about you, some of you grandmas, you may have boyfriends. I don't know. But there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and some of you will say, Dino, there'll never be a husband like I had. Yeah. No, I'm just, that's the only one. I'm, I, I'm going to meet him someday. It won't be long. But invite a, a girlfriend or a family member or your grandchildren. Yes. And just children. share your birthday cake with them. Homemade by Dino. <laughs> Homemade by Dino. I wish the way... Happy birthday to you. I the way yeah. I could set my music with it. I don't know how to do that. Unless I record a CD with it. Personalize it for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Jessica, Who? Patricia, Rhonda, Everybody. anybody. Rhonda. Everybody. <laughs> Sue Ann, how about Sue Ann? Sue Ann. Happy to you. you. We'd sing it to you. We'll see. Maybe we'll do the CD with it. Everybody I'm not sure. Has a Tell birthday. me what you think about that. Praise God. You know what? I believe in miracles mm -hmm. because I believe in God. That's what Catherine Grumman said all the time. I believe in miracles. Because I believe in God. Some of you that are not familiar with Catherine Kuhlman, why don't you go ahead and, and uh, Google her. It's Catherine, K-U-H-L-M-A-N. This is a lady that I worked with for many years. I was very, very young. And I saw through her ministry some of the most amazing, amazing, amazing miracles that took place. What God has done, what God has done back then, he can do today, yes. tonight. Nancy Bates, she just came home from the hospital today. I even gave her a little call Good. to tell her that we love her. She got and that uh, her daughter actually sent me her number and asked if I would call her. Nancy goes way back with us, and uh, she's been a great supporter of our ministry and our music, for sure. And pneumonia is what she had, both lungs. I told her tonight we're going to pray for her and believe Thank the Lord. that God will give her <laughs> brand new lungs. <coughs> clean and pure because I know that he desires to heal you and whoever else is out there that's got a lung problem or whatever liver problem or whatever's happening in your body right now we're going to believe that God it's his love remember this Valentine's week and we focus on the love for one another on the love for Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. There is no greater love than his love. That he should come to this earth and die on the cross. And imagine the thorns on his head and the nails in his hands. Just imagine how he shed 
is precious blood for me, nobody, for you, a somebody, and a somebody. We're important to him. And I always say, if you were the only person on this earth, he would have died just for you. Just think about that. That's how much he loves you. He loves you so much. His love is so rich and pure and so wonderful in our lives. But I pray right now, love this morning. Let Jesus just touch your body right now. And your mind. And may he give you the love. The love of God. rest will wake up refreshed saying thank you Jesus for your miracle church at 11.30 every Sunday morning. Yes. Gary McSpadden has, has such a gift of expounding on the Word of God and teaching you. I mean, he digs deep into the Word. And this past Sunday, we talked about the mind and about how if we would just think on God, the Almighty God, that He will just take away whatever is wrong in your life. Amen and heal you and he gave a scripture and I want do you have time can you, can you wait can you hang in there a little bit we would be a little longer tonight but I really feel there are people that need where's my bible oh, that goes right here I got it right here do you mind if I read your scripture I'll put my glasses on and share this with you because we need to build your faith to receive your healing John 5 1 to 18 this may take a little long to, to read but I want you to I want you to listen to this. And it's the healing at the pool. Of Bethesda, yes. Of Bethesda. Mm -hmm. That man that was crippled. And of course he was waiting for the angels to come into that water and stir, stir the water so he can go in. When people went in, they were healed. Well, God's about to steer, is about to steer some water tonight, right where you are. Amen. I want you to get into that water. And you receive your healing. It's like that song. get your Bible, you can read with me. Mm -hmm. And if you have any thoughts you want to share about the scripture, please do. And we'll share it with everybody. John 5. It's 1 to 18. There are 18 verses here. But I, want, I need to read you the story. So you get the, the real picture of what's going on here. 
After this, there was a feast of Jews, of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool. You know, we saw that. We were there. Pool of we knew exactly where that was. Mm -hmm. Siloam. Pardon me? What pool? Siloam. So, which in he Hebrew is called Bethesda, mm -hmm. having five porches. In these lay a great crowd of invalid, blind, lame, and paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Yes. <laughs> the water's going to move. Oh, but people, stirring. it's about to, it's about to stir if it's not Thank stirring you, already. Jesus. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. After the stirring of the water, whoever stepped in first was healed of whatever disease it had. But now you could be the first right now mm -hmm. to get into that pool and receive mm -hmm. your healing. Yes. A certain man was there who had an illness for 38 years. Have you had an illness for a long time? Mm -hmm. Listen to this. For 38 years, he had, a, he had an illness. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been in, there, in that condition now and long time, he said to him, do you want to be healed? I thought it was a very interesting question. Of course you would think you want to be healed. Why would Jesus ask that question? And I've got a little insight to that. I, I believe Jesus asked the question because... You know, there's some people that say they want to be healed, but do they really want to be healed? Do they really want to come out of that wheelchair where they're, they're, they're uh, treated by everyone to roll them around and take care of them? And mm. they figure, well, this is a pretty good situation. But do you really want to get out of that wheelchair and take care of yourself rather than someone else take care of you? And I really believe Jesus was saying to him, do you, re do you want to be healed? Interesting question, isn't it? The sick man answered him, Sir... I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. Well, that's interesting, too. He had no support. He had no one there to do mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, yeah, I want to be healed. But while I am coming another step down before, and I'm coming another step down before me. Let me read that back again. See if I, um, um, I keep putting it right up. Because, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. But while I am coming another step down before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. Amen. Amen. Those are the words of Jesus. Yes. Rise. If you can't walk, if your knees are right down, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. In the Thank name you, of Lord. Jesus, by faith. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is saying that to you right now. Rise, take up your bed and walk. Oh, praise God. Immediately the man was healed, yes. took up his bed and walked. But a bang, yes. he was healed in the name of Jesus in a twinkling of an eye. That day was a Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, is it the Sabbath day? Of course, you know, they're the doubters, you know, the ones that want to just pick and pick. And in Greek, we have a word called sita. It's like a little, a little uh, uh, insect that picks on you, sita. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. Well, come on. Hey, guys. You don't want this man to be healed <laughs> on a Sabbath? Why not? As Jesus says later. He answered them, He who healed me said to me, Take up your bed and walk, he said to them. So they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? Do you think they really knew who it was? Or they were just kind of, what? We, I don't know. Now the man who was healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had withdrawn as there was a crowd in that place. Afterward, Jesus found him in a temple and said to him, See, you have become whole. Sin no more, lest something worse happens to you. Well, this is something else. You know, in, in miracle services that I've been in, there, there are people that are healed that are not even Christians. Mm -hmm. Figure this one out. That evidently, that's what happened to this man. But his face, by saying, Yes, Father, I want to be healed. He received his healing. But then came the salvation. Because of that healing. Yes. Thank then came you, the salvation. Yes. See you have Sin no more, lest someone wor something worse happens to you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. So the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him. You believe that? What jerks. Why would they want to do that? <laughs> 
because they Jealousy, were not maybe? Christians. They were pride, just, you know, how they were. Pride, yeah. yeah. Well, Jesus had a perfect name for them. What? He called them snakes and vipers. There you go. Jesus answered them, My father is working still, and I'm working. So the Jews sought even more to kill him, because he, he not only had broken the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, can you imagine, making himself equal with God. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't get it, could they? No. They just could not get it. No, because they did not know him. But we know him. Yes, we do. We get it. Praise God. We, we have seen miracles already yes. in our lives. I know you have too. Thank you, Jesus. But that what you're going through right now is just temporary. God wants to heal you. He really, really does. He loves you so much on this love day of the Valentine's week. Mm -hmm. I mean, now you can feel more love than you ever have because we're thinking on that. We're thinking on the love of Jesus. Like we think Christmas time on the birth of Jesus. Let's think on the love of Jesus tonight, okay? And that comes straight from God because he is love. He's love. session. I hope you're watching that seven o'clock session. Today she read from her from her wonderful, this wonderful hymnal. She wrote all the devotions and some of you are saying, you know what, some people Cheryl are saying, they're, they're taking this to church and they're singing the hymn and they're actually reading the oh, devotion that you wrote. I am so grateful. Isn't that Lord, wonderful let me how God's it. using you? Yes, sir. Love so lifted grateful. me and all these songs about love. There's one here that we don't hear too often. You know, we're trying to bring the hymns back to the church. You know that. That has, been, that has been the beginning of all this. God laid on my heart to bring back the hymns. And any way you restore can help, them. we are grateful. And some of you are doing that already. You're helping us. Help, the Lord direct. Expose us to your church mm -hmm. choir, to your congregation. And now with the CDs, oh my goodness. These CDs, people are saying, Dino, thank you. I'm playing these. I put it on repeat. I play it over and over again. To hear these awesome mm -hmm. anointed hymns thank you, Jesus. in your house. Morning, noon, and night. And now I'm working on CD2. Thank you, Lord. I've got 10 down. I'm starting Friday. I'm going to complete this, I believe, this weekend. Because, see, I know these hymns so well. I mean, they're ingrained in, in my very being. Mm -hmm. So just sitting down and playing uh, these hymns is a natural for me. So it doesn't take that long for me to record these. But every time I play, I pray the Lord just anoints my fingers as I play. Mm -hmm. So you will feel and sense the presence of God in the very atmosphere of where you are. Love divine, all love excelling. Show you read, you read that devotion, didn't you? That's why I thought I should play it. And this is what I haven't heard for years until I start digging into the hymnals and finding mm -hmm. this. This is number 59, page 110.
but I will. This will probably be in the second series of, of the hymns. Or actually, it's a third. It'll be in the third. Uh, so that'll be one of the hymns. Love divine, all loves excelling. Amen. Excellent love. Amen. And then, of course, next page, go to that right now and pretend like we're in church, okay? And, and the, 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 uh, the church leader up there, the song leader, we call him, uh, will say, okay, Dino, let's do Love Lifted Me. He'll give you the page. You'll turn to it. And while you're turning to it, I get to play the introduction. Take it to your church. Some of you don't have pianists in your church. Voila, here I am. <laughs> Let me be your pianist, Amen. okay? Amen. Uh, a few ladies texted us and said that they, or actually uh, made comments saying they take this. Oh, Christina, my, my Chris, my sister. Yes. Last Sunday, she and her sister-in-law sang a duet uh, out of the hymnal. Isn't that awesome? And they read the devotion and it just blessed oh, the people. In your prayer meetings and you're getting together shut-ins, go, go to the hospital, uh, go there and, and minister to people, read these wonderful devotions. You don't have to have, well, you can take my channel with you to get a little CD player. Amen. How simple is that? Yes. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, we thank I think you, it's Lord. a good idea. Thank the Lord. Yes, how are you? Love Jesus. lifted me, and of course, the love of God, and all those love songs, Cheryl. Yes, sir. They're just, they're just wonderful. Such an opportunity to get to share yes. again with young people. Listen, the young people need to hear these. Yes. For sure. And I, I'll tell you one thing. They'll probably think they're cool because they've never heard these before. Right. Yeah, I think so. So giving these to your grandchildren and friends and some kid down the street, whatever. Let them, let <laughs> Amen. Them, give them the let Whomever let you know. Them, for sure. For get sure. them for your youth group. Yeah, that's, that's good too. Yes. And I'm not putting down the new songs. Listen, uh, I know there's a lot of repetitious repetition, but sometimes that's good because then you'll remember, right? For, right. Especially us, us seniors. But uh, but include some of these older hymns. Such message yes. in these hymns. Because there are young people that are writing some great music. Yes, they I are. mean, I, I've, I've sung some. Yes. Of course, Bill Gaither's written so many. Oh, I, mean, my I can do a hymnal yes. just on him. Yes, you I could. really could. <laughs> so, and people are asking me still, how do I get the hymnal. How do I get the CDs? But I'm going to tell you again right now. To get the hymnal, you need to go on Nordskog Publishing Company. And I'm going to spell that. N-O-R-D-S-K-O-G Publishing Company. Now, I know uh, uh, 
Brenda Hayes, or someone's going to put it on there, and you're going to see exactly where you go. We have such great <laughs> helpers out there, don't we? Yes, Cheryl? we do. Oh, when yes. I can't someone do it, they it do it, and they minister to people in right, place. Yeah. Now the CDs, the four CDs. The first one, a lot of you already got, okay? And some of you still need to order the four. This is one, two, three, four. These are not the actual ones. This is all. This is a one seed. This is one, 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 one of the series, okay? <laughs> but we're going to have four. But they're all going to look like this, Soon. four just alike. The second one's going to have like number two on it, number three, number four. So you can distinguish each one, okay? Yes. And uh, to get the CDs, now write this down. No, you don't have to. Someone will pull it up. <laughs> Wrong, right. It, it's 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 BransonCakes.com. We changed it from Branson Cake. It didn't feel right. It should be cakes because it's more than just the one cake. BransonCakes.com. Yes. Go on there and order it as soon as you can. We may have to go to another second printing. I still have a bunch left. So if you order immediately, I will see that you get it. I'll put, it'll go in the mail tomorrow, actually. We'll get it to you. Now, can I say something? Some of you people have been so loving and patient that have not received their CD yet. Let me tell you, the bad weather, the whatever ha happened, kept it from coming to you. Yes. And it still may come to you, I I'm telling you. <laughs> Just be patient. Now, if it's two, three weeks, yes, there's something wrong. We can track that order. Our Teresa in our office, she has all the tracking numbers. She has your name. And be sure to tell us. Uh, but give it some time still, please. Don't, don't uh, be impatient. And I know some of you have been waiting a long time, and I understand. Cheryl Jackson <coughs> just said, Cheryl Jackson just said, I received my first CD this week, and it sounds as though you are in the room playing the recording. <coughs> the recording is first class. Isn't that great? That's <coughs> so me. wonderful. We try to always do everything with the first <coughs> class because you deserve it. God deserves it. God deserves it, number Amen. one. But, and you do too. Yes, you so do. please be patient with us. <coughs> if there's anything broken that comes there, uh, please, we'll replace it immediately. We will get it to you as soon as possible. Right. And and I know people say, well, why are you spending so much on the on the on the postage? Well, I don't know. Cheryl's going Dino, my accountant's going Dino, <laughs> but I wanted to get this out to you as quickly as possible. Valentine's Day for sure. Some of you said Dino, I'll even send you money for that. that you can see how much how much it is on the postage. And, and I would be grateful for that. You would, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Well. But okay, if, if God lays it on your heart, if you can't, we understand. As a matter of fact, we send out, we have sent out quite a few of these, these specials to people that could not afford it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And some say, can I pay you later? And I said, absolutely, we trust you. We're, we're just here, I'm just seeing so many people saying it's so well recorded, That's and great. theirs is perfect. Okay. So thank you, Lord, for that. Yes. And we thank you if you do make a donation just for the shipping yeah we appreciate well, that but if you don't we're not gonna emphasize on that that's I just, okay i just want you to know because some of you have responded saying dina why you know so much the shipping is more than, than the special that birthday cake came, made me burp a little bit it's good though yeah don't get on a birthday cake you need to tell me with, if you like it with the raspberry or without has anybody told you yet, Cheryl, if they like um, the raspberry or no raspberry? So many have said with the raspberry. Oh, did and, they really? And, yes. See, and good. some have said uh, even with strawberry. Yeah. And the deal is this. You can go ahead, even if your birthday is three months from now, you can go ahead and... and uh, place an order. Like you did with the CD. Place your order. Pay for it now, and you will get it just before your birthday. Praise we God. will uh, confirm that with you. I think it's a great idea. Don't you think, Cheryl? Oh, I do, yes. We could celebrate the birthday together with everybody. Yes. And your, it's, your birthday. It's so delicious. That'd you be great. The Lord gave me this idea. I said, why don't I share this to uh, my wonderful, loving friends that are having birthdays? We, You know, we all have birthdays. Yes, we do. While we're still on this planet uh -huh. Earth. And I want this to be something very special. And we're going to price it right. We don't want it to go so, so high. There won't be a whole lot of margin for us. But we definitely will put the postage in there so we're not out of money. I, I think you appreciate that. That's not a good business uh, no, decision. Sense kind of thing. Yeah. They're still saying with raspberry. With raspberry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Many okay. are saying that. So Just send us your birthday, your address or whatever, and uh, just get on the uh, Dino, oh, no, Branson Cakes. You know, I always like to say DinoCakes.com, but no, it's Branson Cakes. 
dot com. com to place your order. For and you. I would start doing that. Uh, give us a day. I would uh, tomorrow's Thursday. We'll get it on tomorrow. You can keep checking if you want and get your order in right away, and we will be sure it comes to you beautifully wrapped for your birthday. Yes. We're going to celebrate together. Yes, with happy birthday and uh, wonderful cake. Happy, oh, happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Now, if you know anything about Shepherd of the Hills, uh, I don't know if you read the story about it, look it up. This is how Branson actually started. Shepherd of the Hills. This goes way back, 100 years ago maybe. And uh, they, they are building a brand new restaurant, this huge restaurant, where I'm understanding that it's going to be very, very good. You're going to want to eat there uh, while you're visiting Branson. And then right next to the restaurant, there's, there's a theater. It's very intimate. It only seats about 250 people, or 300, I believe. Very limited seating. Very, very limited. And uh, because I, I've used to be, play, I'm used to playing in 1,000, 2,000 seaters here in Branson, Missouri, which I've done for years. This could be up close and personal. I mean, you're going to be like on the stage almost. My st we're working on getting a revolving stage so everybody can see my hands. It's going to be the Austrian crystal piano. It's going to be elegant with the beautiful chandeliers and uh, HD uh, uh, vi video or, or screens in the back showing all the Christmas things, and it's going to show me like playing Carnegie Hall or the Acropolis, and I'll play classical music, and I'll play then uh, 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 just that roasting, and then we'll have a fireplace in the video. Oh, you're going to feel like you're right in there. You, listen, be there. Be there, that's all I can say. It'll be wonderful to come to Branson. Christmas time is the best time of the year to come to Branson. And then people, people who already heard about this, actually were the first people to, for me to tell. But right after I signed the contract, I got on Facebook to tell you what had just happened. Well, people are saying, well, how do I get tickets? I want to reserve a seat. I want to be close to the piano. Well, everything is close there, I'm telling you. It's, it's a small room, uh, an elegant room. The sound is going to be wonderful. Like I said, it's going to, it's going to feel like you're right in our living room. It yes, really is. Amen. Right, Cheryl? Uh-huh. I'm so excited about this. Oh, I know you are, and I am too. <laughs> so I just got a text from uh, the manager of, of the theater. It's called, um, it's called, what's it called? Well, the, just change the name, Cheryl. The place, Playhouse. The Playhouse Theater. Theater is where we're going to play. Playhouse Theater. So uh -huh. it's going to be like a smaller room. So up close and personal. Love that. And of course, I'll do the glitz and the glamour, which everybody expects. I'll be doing a lot of piano. Cheryl's going to look absolutely beyond. What can I tell you? <laughs> She's got some fabulous yeah. costumes. And we're going to have an entertaining night plus a very down home, person to person type of evening. So let me tell you what you need to do. I just got this a while ago. Okay. And uh, let's see. How do I get tickets to that event? It's, it's November, December. I'm playing a limited amount of engagements. It's like three shows a week. That's not a whole lot. No. So it's going to be limited time, uh, 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 engagements, and limited seating. So let me give you, right here, I'm giving it to you. Get on this website. TheShepherdOfTheHills.com TheShepherdOfTheHills.com Say it with me. The, the Shepherd, Shepherd of the, of the Hills, Hills dot com. Com. Get on there. Uh, I would say tomorrow because I believe they'll have something up. And if if you if you're not satisfied by what you see there, call call the Shepherds of the Hill. Uh, you know, look it up uh, and Google it. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone very nicely will will talk to you and tell you how they'll put your name down and get you on there. Right on top of the list. I want to see all of you sit in the front row. But places like you, everybody sits in the front row. Yeah. And some of you don't want to sit there. You want to sit further back so you get the big picture. Well, it's not huge, but but it's, you'll get the full picture. So, theshepherdofthehills.com. Okay? Go on there and uh, see if you can make reservations. If not tonight, go tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, if you have to, just call. call. Just flood their phones by, I mean... Look at how to get more phone people is what I think. <laughs> and just tell them that if you're interested, I want to come, I want to make a reservation, I'm bringing uh, a group with me, I bring my family, I bring my children, because I have, I'm church. doing something for children too. Your church group, especially your church groups. Yes. Oh yeah, that's a perfect scenario. I remember we were, we're sure when we were at the Grand Palace, we yes. had, one day we had 140 motor coaches. It was amazing, it was the biggest Crazy. turnout. <laughs> that I think that theater has ever seen. Well, 
there's gonna be a lot of people really excited about this so get on this right away <laughs> come on I want my Facebook people there well we want our family there oh you're yes. our family I want you Facebook there I want you there family. yes okay so that's it the shepherd of the hills dot com and it's gonna be a, just a lovely and the restaurant they're telling me of course the restaurants gonna be done by then that you can get a combination restaurant and the show it's a one-place destination what's happening show nothing you, everything you frown is like that, great me. no do you know this is not blurry have you guys I noticed know. different ones have said last week it was like great. terrible but you it's amazing but some you still watched it's right it's unbelievable. <laughs> you're so sweet but it's it's clear today and so let me say the restaurant and show together there's a ticket that you can buy for the, the, having a meal I'm gonna I'll be doing some afternoon shows selective dates and some evening shows so make your choice and come on to Branson and see us we want to meet you personally we may have a little meet and greet afterwards so we'll, we'll see we're, we're kind of talking about that right now uh, so anyway I just want to share that with you Amen. well God bless you guys we love you and yes, you're do. so refreshing to us and we just want you to know that God is with you do not despair let the Lord come and embrace you with his love yes Lord. what do you think Cheryl I just would love to pray for each one of you who are sick and need healing tonight yes before well, we already we prayed for that I know but so there may be some that just came on there are a few prayer. others here and we just okay we just include you in that prayer that was prayed well we can still pray father by your stripes we are healed thank you Lord by your stripes we are healed yes. and we receive that right now we thank believe you. in the Word of God that which is written in the Bible yes. every word is written by inspiration of God yes so we take that as truth yes, perfect truth do. in our thank lives you so much, by father. your stripes we we were, were healed, healed. Okay, there you go. There we are. By a strength, we were healed. We are healed. Yes, so for those that are watching right now that need prayer, there are those that need financial help, Father. I know yes, because Lord. people have shared their hearts with us mm -hmm. in a very humble way. And Lord, I pray that you'll supply their every needs. May, let, let's get money in the mail. I pray that somehow you will receive money Chicks in the mail. In the mail. That's right. Let's right now let's receive it. We bring it we into our it into our lives Call right it now. in right now. A, a miracle of someone that God laid on their heart to give yes. you $100 or $10, whatever it is. Yes, Lord. Father, I pray you supply financial need. Thank you, Lord. They need food on their table. They have families that need to, to be taken care of financially, to clothe them, especially during this winter yes. time. Yes. Father, I pray yes. you will, you will yes. supply whatever yes. is needed in that family. Everything. And Lord, I thank you from now for this point on we already have experienced miracles yes Lord. I know that Nancy is healed I know Rhonda's healed I know Sue Ann is healed I know that what's going on in the minds of people depression is being healed that's a miracle right there father we receive it right now the joy of the Lord is our strength thank you Lord. and how do we get that joy that unspeakable joy read the word there's joy throughout that whole yes. amazing Bible. There's love in that Bible. There's, there's peace in the midst of the storm. Thank you, Father, for healing us. And we give you praise and honor for all you've done and what you're about to do in our lives. Yes, Jesus. We love the session that we just Thank had. You. And bless each and every person that has been watching. In your name we pray. Praise you, Lord. <coughs> well, i got to stop Jesus talking. In Jesus' name. I know a lot of you saying, Dino, stop talking, just play the piano. Well, we got <laughs> the rest of our lives to hear that. I'll be, we'll be here every Tuesday night as long as I've got ten fingers on my hands, no arthritis, no stroke, no nothing that'll come into our lives and your life. That you can live for God Amen. every day in a joyful live way. For live for God every day in a joyful way. That sounds like a title for some, some music. You know, Dino, right now, um, Brenda Hayes just just texted, right now the Shepherd of the Hills website only goes through <coughs> October, but they'll be putting it up within the next two or three days 
uh, okay. our dates. So, All right, good. You know, but, you can. But I'm saying you can call if you want. Yes. And tell them, would you put my name down? Absolutely. Even if it's on the website. That's call right. Shepherd the Hill and say, please put my name down on the list. Okay? Do that. Yes. And I'll tell them that you're going to do that. That's great. They'll get you on the list. Thank and you. And leave Lord. your telephone number. They'll get back to you and tell you what the tickets are. I'm just making some rules here. And and I Diane. Hope, <laughs> I hope that Tracy Gideon, she's a sweet gal. We worked together at the Grand Palace years ago. And yes. she's now there working at the Shepherd of the Hills property. And it's a one-stop place. Christmas time. You can walk oh through goodness, there. Yes. It's the Christmas lights. Beautiful. The trail lights, they call it. Whatever trail, they call it. Trail of light, yes. And they have some other shows there that are Christmas. and But ours is limited. So that's why I want to be sure that you're in there before we sell out. Okay? Yes. It's not too early to make your reservation. And don't forget FWC on May the 5th. Oh, we're doing our, our hymn sing. Our hymn sing. Yay, yes. So uh, thank you, Kevin, for reminding us. Reminding us. and Hymn sing, May 5th. Yes. We got a lot of plans exciting, you know, for, for all exciting. of us, okay? So get well, take your vitamins, take your Geritol. Do they still sell Geritol? I don't know. I wonder. Because <laughs> that was a thing years ago. Tracy uh, Janine Gideon is watching. So she's hearing okay, all Tracy. of this. And Are you okay so, with that, Tracy? If you if they call, let us know if it's okay for them to call or when would be the best But they'll get time. it on, on the inter internet they'll, right away. I mean, yes. I know Tracy. She's on it. Oh, She's yeah. a full round. She's so sweet. Okay, guys, we love you and peace be with you and uh, oh, keep yes. keep your hearts right with God. Let, let Just keep God in, in your heart, okay? And, and be joyous and loving to one another, mm -hmm. especially this week. Yes. You know, I don't know if you've been separated from your children or if your mother, your father, grandparents, just go to them and, and put your arms around them and say, I bring them a gift for, for Valentine's Day, okay? That'd be a wonderful gesture. God bless you. We love you so much. And, and we'll see you soon. Now, I'm probably going to get on, on Facebook again during the week. I like keeping you posted. If anything happens in our lives, you will hear about it. Yes. We are family. Amen. We'll see you later. And Kevin, we're believing with you. Yes, In Kevin. Jesus' we name. We are. We are. Amen. Okay, we love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. We love you. Love you. Love you.